Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, no, I've not been gone. I've been having issues with my internet and have not been able to upload many video videos until uh, last couple of days. Finally got them out to work on it, get it squared away, whatever. But this is a uh, Sunday morning, I'm checking in on everything. Uh, it has been a tough, tough year again. I thought 2017 uh, was tough, and it was. But I believe 2018 is going to compare with it. But we got a long way to go yet. So we will see how it works out. So this is an acre of yellow corn. Uh, one of the super sweets. It... Uh, it is getting real close and we've got an acre of bicolor that is getting close too so these two are going to probably start coming off about the same time so we're going to have quite a bit of corn now we've we've already had an acre and a half of corn which we probably only picked about a half to three quarters of an acre because of the blackbirds and man they worked it over uh, well, that, there's an oddity, but uh, that's field corn seed. See how tall that corn is? That stalk right there? Anyhow, sorry, squirrel. But, uh, yeah, it's been a tough year. We've, uh, wet weather is killing us. Between the wet weather and the critters, it has been a tough, tough year. Uh, groundhogs, Lord have mercy. We have had an abundant crop of groundhogs this year. And uh, matter of fact, I caught one in the broccoli patch this morning. One of the broccoli patches. And uh, he will cause no more damage. But, uh, yeah, we've... Uh, Broccoli's been tough. We've lost yet another acre of broccoli. Uh, wet weather, just rotting. What can you do? We've got we've got more broccoli coming. We've still got broccoli to set, transplant. Uh, hopefully we'll get hit done. But you can see the amount of what. And this is a hillside. <laughs> this is not a this is not a creek bottom. And you can see the water standing in it. Uh, but you know we're uh, we're moving right along we've got uh, five or six acres of sweet corn yet to go we've got five acres of pumpkins and i've got pump green pumpkins big as basketballs so i sprayed them last night and uh second cutting of hay we got broccoli and cabbage to cut etc 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 so we're uh, we're hanging in there so it's uh it's been, it's been <laughs> interesting this year, to say the least. But uh, this is a new variety for us. Never grown this variety before, and I do not remember what it is. I mean, I have no clue. Uh, but it, it's looking good. We're starting to ear up nicely. Uh, probably two weeks on this corn we'll be picking uh the bicolor is probably another week so we're going to have some lap and that's uh, uh kind of the way it is we've uh you know we're uh, into the middle of it but like i said we've got cabbage our yellow squash and zucchini squash or yellow squash i think is about done it's starting, it's so much wet weather, it's starting to uh, turn brown on us. We've, uh, I've been keeping it sprayed with fungicides. Um, people often ask me what kind of fungicides I use. It depends. Uh, you know, there's, uh, I've stated before, uh, you know, you just use a mix. The best thing is to change up chemistry. I do a rotation 
For instance, on the squash for fungicides, sides, I've been using a, a product called Bravo, which is chloronathanil active ingredient, Ram Man, Presidio, and Pristine. That is the products. Now, what I'll do is a tank mix of Bravo and one, and you know, there's four chemistries. I usually spray them with two at a time and rotate between sprays. Sprays every seven days. That seems to help. Uh, insecticide, like on this corn, I use. Uh, yesterday, when I sprayed this corn, I used uh, a Promethium product and BT. Next week it may be uh, bifenthrum and uh, something else. You, 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 but I rotate it constantly, and I try to use the most effective things. But I use different chemistry. A couple of reasons is, you know, if you miss something with one, you'll get it with the other, and you don't want to build up resistance. Um, Seven was a product that was widely used a lot. Now seven's pretty lethal to honeybees, so you gotta be cautious when you use it. A lot of insecticides are, but uh, seven was a wide, broad spectrum insecticide that was used for years and years and years, very effectively. And then the effectiveness kind of waned, and people quit using it. But last year, I found it extremely effective in the corn. I was having trouble uh, killing a couple of pin worms and stuff in the corn, and. Uh, sprayed with a couple rotations of seven and it took care of it but you know i sprayed them at night basically on account of the honeybees there have been a couple folks asked me to do uh, some videos on uh, uh, different subjects and i will get those done just uh, be patient um, there was a couple folks asked about that but uh, we'll get those done at some point it's just uh like i said it took me five days to upload a six minute video on my internet service so <laughs> it uh, uh finally got the cable company out to take care of it so uh everything seems to be going pretty good now and then of course yesterday i shot a video this video while spraying and uh got home last night and went to uh edit it and upload it and realize that the SD card is full and it only recorded two minutes of it. So uh, that's kind of where we're at. It's uh, another wet year. We're trying to farm our way through it. And, uh, you know, two months from now, two and a half months, we'll be done. And uh, there's some honeybees in the corn now. But, uh, you know, we're... Uh, we're getting there. It's going to be a hard two and a half months to go. We've, uh, like I said, we've got broccoli, we've got cabbage. We still got some of the winter or summer squash to go. A little patch of winter squash, pumpkins, and corn, and of course, second crop of hay. So, uh, and that field right up there where those light poles are is second crop, and it looks good. We've had a lot of rain. We've areas. There's a couple of locations in our area that's had 10 plus inches this week i think we've had about eight so uh, we'll see how it goes uh if we get some hot dry weather on this corn with all that water in the ground it should ear up nicely so if you like what we're doing please subscribe we do appreciate it uh, see a video you like let us know have a question comment whatever please ask it and we will talk to you guys later have a good day.